Well, hello everyone and welcome to Talk of the Town with me, Lynn About Town, here in my town of sunny Clearwater, Florida. I'm here today in studio with a friend, a really great guy, a singer, a songwriter, a musician extraordinaire, by the way, I will, I will add that. Uh, he is a humanitarian, a salsa dancer, instructor, fitness guy, and a dad. And that person is Carlos Day. Hi, Carlos. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? I'm well. And thank you for coming today. I know you had a really busy schedule. It was intense today, but thank you for having me. My pleasure, yeah. my pleasure. The, the talk of the town is all about us being able to show good news and good guys. Okay. And that's it. I like it's it. It's pretty much, you know, whoever we, we can grab that we know or we hear about. And, uh, and I've been watching you for a couple of years now. And I am always amazed that the next time I see you perform, you pull up yet another instrument. <laughs> no, really. Like the trumpet and then, you know, French horn and then piano. And then I, I started following you on Instagram and all of your singing. And I just, I love promoting all that talent. So I appreciate thank, it. Thank you so much. It's my sincere pleasure. How many instruments do you play? I play a total of nine instruments. Um, List them out. I sing, trumpet, uh, piano, bass, both upright and electric, uh, full Latin percussion, which is bangos, congas, timbales. Uh, I became a drummer recently. <laughs> I filled in for a, for a band. I was a drummer for them. No. Yeah. So you just, I'm filling in. I'm filling in. They, they lost their drummer. So they cross, can you play drums? I was like, okay. <laughs> oh my God, that's awesome. Well, yeah. you have rhythm, so, you know. It helps. It helps. And then it's just getting the limbs to do what you what you want them to do. So it takes, takes it. a little coordination, but yeah, yeah. So what are you doing lately? Like I I know that I saw a video of you mm -hmm. on Facebook, and you were in New York City yeah. with the famous, amazing Alberta Plaza. Yes, amazing so guy. What was that like? It was amazing. Um, Alberto Plaza is uh, he's definitely a a a a celebrity and like and he's he's so good at what he does um i was actually shocked because when i i mean i, I know about Alberto plaza and i know how big he is um in his country and stuff like that um but this was his first u.s tour and i was just like okay cool it's gonna be, it's gonna be i'm playing with Alberto, uh, Alberto plaza and and the crowd response was so big like they sing every one of his songs and they're like screaming them and i'm just on, i'm on stage with this cheesy smile i could not stop. i was just like wow alberto like well it's intoxicating yeah. when the crowd is that into it i would imagine yeah it was so like and every every show was sold out and but what, what shocked me the most was that i mean he sang a lot of songs they sing every one of his songs like i've been to uh, performances where you know, the artist is big and the crowd will sing maybe three or four of their hmm. songs. They sing every one of them and screaming at the top of their lungs. Wow, that's devoted. Yeah. yeah. So did you, did you say at that time, I mean, obviously you were in the moment and you're so honored and you're happy, but did you say to yourself, like, I want that? I want yeah. that for me? Yeah, I did. Good. Yeah, it's a good feeling. And the, the beautiful thing about Alberto Plaza is that he gave me my own space up front too. So on this particular tour, I played piano, I was a bass player, the guitar player, the percussionist, trumpet, and I sang uh, harmonies for him. Do you, I want to say something to you. Do you realize how much trust he had in you to give you that many roles? I know, I was and super honored. And he's that honor. famous? Yeah, super, I was super honored. Like I just, I, when, he, when he told me he wanted me for the tour, I was just like, oh my God, thank you so much. I'm so honored. He's like, no, the honor is mine, Carlos. You're so talented. I'm like, no, Aww. man, but you're Alberto Plaza. Like, that makes me happy. Oh, because, it, was, it, was, it was a really good feeling. But how else could somebody get good? I mean, you know, I don't mean get good, but get famous or get really notoriety without being given chances. It's true. It's very true. Yeah. I love that you would be willing to just turn that phone on and just say, I feel like singing, I don't know, an Adele song, you yeah. know, or I feel like singing because <laughs> you can random. sing pretty high. Yeah, that's why, I, honestly, I use those songs as, as a drilling for me to expand my range. I like to sing in, in the girl's actual key just to, I mean, it's, and it takes practice. It doesn't come out great the first time, but um, like there's a song from uh, Beyonce that I, I, I recorded, um, Love on Top, where it, it modulates like five times. And it starts high, 
But I like to do that to develop my higher register so that I can sing very low and I can sing very high and, and everything in between. So you challenge yourself, but it's, it's also like a training session. It is, yeah. But you're also feeling it and you're willing to put that out there. Yeah. Hope, I, I admire that. it comes out good and you press record, yeah, let's see how this turns out. Is that something you suggest for like an up and coming singer, an up and coming performer to just like let their hair down a little bit, so to speak? and put themselves out there a little bit? Absolutely, and, and for me, it's, it's one of those things where I've always like, because as, as an artist, as a singer or performer or a musician, you, you wanna be the best all the time, right? So you, that's why you practice every day and you just, you, you go at it. But sometimes what happens is that you can get inside your head a little bit and you start to worry about, ah, is, is this gonna come out okay? Mm. Is, are they gonna like it? Are, am I, are they gonna share it? Are they gonna, are they gonna think that I suck? You know, these, right. these kind of things. Right. Um, so for me, I was, I was there for a little bit. I was like, ah, I don't wanna do it because I don't, I don't feel like my voice is, is good enough to, to put that out there. And, and then it just, one day I just woke up, I was like, you know what? If I don't put myself out there, I'm, one, I won't be able to grow as an artist, and two, nobody's gonna know that I exist as, right. as, as an artist, as a singer. Um, so, you know, how good does good have to be? Just, it has to be good enough, right? And then from there, you, you, you practice and you get better and you get better and you get better, and then, you know, your confidence increases as you, as people share it, your comments on it, oh my God, your voice is amazing, you know, stuff like that. Do you look forward to the comments on it? I do, I, I think it, it's, it's a natural, natural thing to wanna see, you know, who, who liked it. Right. You know, and how many people liked it. Yeah. You know, you practice, you get, you get, you get better. I mean, if you want to get good at something, you have to practice, right? And, and, then, and you can never underestimate the amount of time it will take to, to get good. I mean, yeah. it's, it's like going to the gym. Like, you want to get your physique a certain way. I mean, I want to do this in four weeks. It might not happen in four weeks, but if right. you continue, you might see a good, good positive result in your body in three months, five, you know, four months, five months. Um, so for me, it's just, it's one of those things where you just have to like, kind of like not worry what, mm. other, what other people think. Mm -hmm. um, Cause that was my, that was my, my, uh, my problem. Mm. I always, I always like worried about. Like in looking in. Yeah, I always worried about what other people are gonna say about how my voice sounds or I'm singing an Adele song in her original key. Are they gonna be like, wow, you should lower the key. Or I don't know why you're singing. Like if you start thinking like that, you'll never right. get anything out. Right. So you kind of have to like shut that. And, and I don't know if it's a common thing, but I know that I've spoken to quite a few artists is that it's, it's like an inner thing. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like this and well, it's like almost like invalidation, right? Right. But you're invalidating yourself at the same time. Right. Um, but it's, it can also be like, you know, past invalidation. And when you were trying to do something, they were like, ah, it's, that's okay. It's really not that right. good. That stays with you if you don't know that it stays with you. Right. And it does tend to affect the way you the way you view how you perform and stuff like that. You That's know? right. I realize that people admire what maybe they're afraid to do or they feel they couldn't do. How many of them are just selling themselves short or invalidating themselves when maybe they have talent, you know? And Very true. If, if that weren't there, would, would we see more bands? Would we see more musicians? You Absolutely, know? 100%. Yeah. yeah.